Okay, so here we are on the Proton Mail main page. Uh, let's go over and take a look at the sign up option. This is where you can create your own Proton Mail account. Here we are on the sign up page. Now, notice that when they start up here, they want to offer you the plus plan. That's the €4 Euro per month plan, which has some additional capabilities that the free plan doesn't have. Now, that's €4 Euros per month if you pay a lump sum of €48 Euros for a yearly payment. You can also pay monthly, but in that case, it'll cost you €5 Euros per month. Okay, so what's the difference here between the plus plan and the free plan? Notice they're saying you have 5 gigabits of storage, 1,000 messages a day, labels, custom filters and folders, so on and so on, a number of different things, up to 5 email uh, aliases. So there are a number of capabilities which are available in the Plus plan that are either not available in the free plan or you get less of them. So there, there are differences, that's to be expected. Let's take a look at the free plan. You notice that in their list of, of what it supports, it, it shows a whole lot less. But that's a little bit misleading in that, for example, down here it says you get labels, custom filters, and folders. Well, you actually get some of that up here with the free plan also. So this is what I'm going to tell you about that. Notice that for the free plan, right down here it says upgrade anytime. One thing that you can do, and what I actually recommend that most people do, is go ahead and select the free plan. And once you have worked with a little bit, got an idea of how does it how does it function for you, do you like it, is it useful, so on, so on. If you want to use Proton Mail more extensively than what the free plan seems to offer you, then just go ahead and upgrade. But take it for a spin first. It doesn't cost you anything, it's easy to do. That's my recommendation. So let's go ahead and we'll select the free plan. I'm going to create a demo account. And here's where you add what's going to be your, your username or your account name. So I'm going to use you fearless dash demo. Now notice it wants to change that to fearless, and it's not what I want. Okay, you fearless dash demo. Now notice that here it's going to tell you immediately if that username is available. If it's not, you can make some tweaks or, or make a different selection. Okay, you have to enter a password. Okay, passwords. We don't like passwords very much. We're, we tend to be really bad at them. We have a tendency to choose bad passwords. That's a problem when we're, we're really trying to get some privacy and security in our online existence. You need a good quality password. For that, you have basically two choices. One is Create a good one yourself and either remember it or write it down or do something so that you'll be able to have it available when, when you need it. Or number two, use a password manager. That really is my recommendation. A password manager is a really good idea. So I, I recommend that, that you do that. I'm going to be having a blog post coming up here shortly about password managers, and I'll be making some recommendations, so you might want to check that out too. Right now, I'm just going to enter a password. It's not going to be a, a specially good password because I'm just going to delete this account when I'm, I'm done with it. I, my only purpose in creating it is to show you how this works. So let me do that. OK, 
Okay, let's confirm it. Okay, so we're good with that. Recovery email. It says it's optional, but hey, give it a recovery email. You, you really want to do that. Like it says here, this is used to recover your account if you get locked out or forget your password. Those things happen. You, you need to have a way to get back in if you do get locked out. ProtonMail will use that recovery email to send you a message and that message will allow you to reset your password. So I'm going to give it this one. Okay, and that's an email address that you can contact me at also. You'll find it on the site. Okay, let's create the account. Generating keys. Okay, that didn't take long. That, that was pretty fast. Depending on what device you're doing it on, it may take longer or, or it may take a shorter period of time. It's really important that you should understand that those keys are generated on your device, on your PC, your laptop. In this case, this is a Mac. Those keys belong to you. You have them. ProtonMail does not have them. The only thing that ProtonMail stores are the encrypted versions of your messages. ProtonMail cannot see what's inside those messages. The only way to see what's inside those messages are to open them up, decrypt them with the keys that you and only you have. This is where the, the strength and privacy of ProtonMail really comes from. So that's important. Now it wants to know, are you human? It gives you an option for CAPTCHA and you can just click and say I'm not a robot. It normally accepts that. It will use email. Uh, you can give it an email address here. Type in that email address and click send. And it will send you an email and then you respond to that email. It identifies you that way. You can do it with an SMS message. Put in a telephone number and click send and it'll send you a, a code for you to, to put in. Or you can, hey, you can donate some money. Bots don't donate money, right? That's not usually what bots do. Bots do other things. They don't donate money. So you can go that way also. Uh, you can use credit card or you can use PayPal. Okay, I'm just going to go the simple way. I'm going to do the CAPTCHA. Let's see if it likes me or doesn't like me. Okay, seem to be happy enough with me. That's nice. It finishes creating the account, doing all the, the things that it needs to do to get everything set up and ready to go. Takes just a moment for it to do that. And here we are. Our account has been created. It's now offering you a couple of options. You can change your display name. That display name notice says down here, this is the from name that people will see when you email them. So like if you want to have, you know, if I wanted this to say Cameron Bunch, then I could uh, change that to Cameron Bunch. And, and when I send an email, that's what people would see coming into their inbox. Now, you can change this later on in settings also. You can change this in a lot of other things. You can follow them on social media. Not a bad thing at all to do, and you just might want to share them out also if you decide that you, that you like the product. And you can download the apps, the Android app and the iOS Apple app. Both very well-designed apps. They make ProtonMail a whole lot easier to use on your mobile devices. So I'm not going to change anything here, but you can see what it is that you can do. And here we are. We've got our new account. 
It starts out with a little tour, just very short, just a couple of tips that help you to, to get started. It says, if you ever want to view this tutorial again, you can access it by clicking your username in the upper right corner. So if you don't look at it to begin with, it's, it's still there for you. Uh, let's just take a look. Personalize your layout. You got two choices here. It's fairly basic, but it's kind of a full screen, split screen option that you've got. And you can do things like create, create folders, create tags, control your folders and, and labels or, or folders and tags. Now, remember, I said that the free account does, in fact, give you a few of these. I don't remember how many it is, but it's a fairly small number. It's enough to let you check it out and see how it works and decide if you want more or not. Every, pretty much everybody probably is, is familiar enough with folders. Tags get used a lot also. Both are very helpful ways of organizing your email. Okay, and help and support. That can be really important. You can get help and support. With the free version, you don't get quite as good. You don't get uh, quite the, the same level of support, but it's still very good for a free product. And again, take the free product for a spin. Decide if you like it. Decide if it works for you. And if it does and you want to use it more extensively, then just go ahead and, and upgrade. I would recommend upgrading to the, to the Plus plan. If you want to read a message, you know, your new messages will come in and they'll, they'll show up here in your, in your inbox. And say we just want to read the welcome message. And everything will show up over here. So you can read your messages. Um, you can reply to messages. Okay, you can compose new messages. All the usual things that you can do in, in pretty much any email system. The big difference here is the tremendous amount of privacy and security that this system can, can give you. So that's basically it for the creation of the account. I'll, I'll be doing some more blogs on how to use it, how to connect it up with PGP. Uh, I'm planning on doing one on the Proton VPN, which you can use either independently or in conjunction with Proton Mail. So I hope that you'll be you'll be watching for those.